Last time on Final Fantasy 16, we made our way over to Martha's Landing and helped the bridge builder, well, survive. This time, what are you after? We're heading down to some bay or other. They did mention it, and I have twenty thousand. I am not getting that. that all, is it? We are heading down to Glymond Abbey. If I can figure out the best way to get there. I think it's going to be this. Oh good, you're here. And Toggle is too. Very good. I knew that children were tested. That a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concerned. I know. But for a child to be blamed. To be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? Nope. No. Because, you know, Clive was born a bearer. And yet he was still treated like uh, royalty. Because he was. Ah, I knew it. Oh, you're considered... A big creature that I can't pull. I know I probably, you know, should feel bad about killing such a beautiful bird, but it stood out for a reason. Five bloody hearts, eh? Ooh, almost enough to level up. Next fight will give us a level up. Okay, so this is definitely one of the ways to manage it, is to do that magic burst on the third hit and then continue the combo. Hey, there we go. There's our level up. We're now level 20. Why do I feel like this is not the way to go? Because it's 100% not. Okay. I think this is where we're going eventually. And this is the way we came in. I completely missed a section over there that probably has something important in it, didn't I? There's plenty here to explore. But for now, let's just follow along with the story, because we'll get to that eventually, I'm sure. Okay, that is powerful. When it actually hits against a flying opponent, that's powerful. Problem is, it doesn't often hit. There's the Abbey. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. Well, not spiders, I hope, because the spiders are outside. And the spiders are considered small enough for me to pull them to me. Good job, Torgo. Good boy. Now what are we going to find out at this church? What dark secrets do history does history hold? 
Good day to you. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you. We came to offer a donation from Martha. I see. People are well connected around here. Then please follow me. What do you have on your side pouch there? Is that a crystal for some sort of magic? I... I don't want to die. Please, Father. Something for the pain. I beg you. The light... It fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. Why do they have a limited lifespan? Is it overuse of the magic that affects their body? I'm guessing that's what it is. The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. Lovely. There is nothing either Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you. In this life. Thank what were the writers you. thinking when they wrote this story? It's so dark. Actually, I probably got a lot of ideas from 13, because despite the bright colors, 13 ended up being quite a dark game as well. I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. Was it medicine or was it a sleeping potion so they are not awake for the rest of their existence? When next you see Martha, pray tell her that Two more have succumbed. So, what would have happened to uh, Clive here? Get back to Martha's rest. If things yes. hadn't gone as they did. We should. As you know, he's a bearer. Well, we now know he's also a dominant, but originally we thought he was a bearer. Ah, Telltale Falls. However, I want to come back here because I want to check out that Whispering Waters area on the way back. Uh, I should be able to... Set a marker, and then I can see that. That's good. See, the scale on the map makes it look like it's a long way, but it's not actually that far. You 
you guys don't want to fight, I am fine with that. Now, what's lying in this bog? Because this looks like a boss area. Fall like all the rest. That's it. No. There we go. That's how I want to deal with. It. Don't let them get away. Is that all you've got? Just four of those? Is that all that's in this area? Because that's a little disappointing, if I'm being honest. I was expecting a lot worse from an area like this. Okay, well, we'll just teleport back then. No point hanging around if there's nothing big and dangerous to fight. You're back. Thanks for taking care of that. The abbot had a message for you. Not a happy one. Two more have succumbed. I see. Come upstairs. You know who her model reminds me of? I wonder if it's because they have the actual same model. So Is uh, Mary know Jane. The Spider-Man is always die on the battlefield, but never like that. And all because they were born different. The powers that be can't take away their gift, so they strip them of their humanity instead. Oh, there's plenty who pity a bearer's plight, but so long as we're content to sit around weeping for those on whose broken backs we're carried, we ain't gonna change nothing. And so you lend Sid your strength. What little of it I have. Used profits from this place to buy the poor buggers. Oh. So when the abbot told us the bearers were yours. Aye. They're my property. At least by law. Any still fit to work fetch a price beyond my means. All I can do is care for those who are past mending. Which, you know, is a good thing to do. Gloom. Bernard's finished fixing that bridge for you. You can carry on to Eastpool now. You got questions that need answering, ain't you? Well, I wish you luck. Thank you, Martha. Oh, I almost forgot. Sid and I have other friends in Rosaria. Wear this, and they'll know you for one of us. The slumbering chocobo. And know that you will always be welcome here. Or the hanged man steal from Lost Wing. You were right, Sid. It really is them. Lord Rosfield and Lady Warwick have come back to us. And long may they stay. Hmm. So she knows who we were. And is still showing deference to us. Even though, you know, we don't hold any sort of authority anymore. Oh. Hello, Sid. Ah, oh, Clive. You're not where I left you. Hurt your hand. I did, I. With a thousand little lightning bolts. Can't fling them around the way I used to. Think of it as my decoration for long service and exemplary Dude, misconduct. Do you need to throw lightning bolts at Sid? But you didn't come here to compare war wounds. We didn't. 
Thank you, Sid. For everything. <laughs> if you want to leave, that's your lookout. I'm sure you'll have a long and happy life together if you stay out of my way. Sid! <laughs> oh. <sighs> He's just being Sid. Don't worry about it, mate. I knew a girl back in the day. She was a slave to her fate, just like you. I wanted to save her. I mean, there's nothing to say we won't make it back to the hideaway. For a while, I you just need answers could, first. But just because you think something doesn't make it true. And that girl is Benedict. Sid. Aren't you the same as Benedict? I'm no savior. Just a conceited old fool. I talk about people forging their own futures. But instead of handing them the hammer, I beat them with my own. And if no bugger wants to listen to what you've got to say, you might as well keep your gob shut. But Clive, I will say this. What will you say? You're not a monster. You're the same man you've always been. Accept that, and you may yet escape your fate. My fate? Yeah, it's going to take a bit more for him to accept he's not a monster. Considering the monster inside him killed his brother. Life. And I don't see it getting much easier. You might not be able to save anyone else. But at the very least, you can save yourself. <laughs> I'll try. And Jill. I'm sorry we didn't get a chance to talk. But I trust you'll take good care of the boy. Yes, I will. Is that the last of it? Aye. We'd best head back then. Wouldn't want to keep Nan waiting. Okay. A new side quest is available nearby. Multiple new side quests are available I nearby. Him before the Imperials do. Can't talk now, I Oh, you're Clive, aren't you? Martha told me all about you. Word is you're a devil with that blade. Yeah, something like Clever that. In a hurry. Where are you going? Not far, I hope. But I dare not waste a moment. It might be. More like a, a fiery demon, but sounds serious. What happened? Not so much what happened as what might. They've discovered he's a bearer, see? And now, one of his erstwhile friends and neighbours wants to see him clapped in chains. Where is this bearer? He wasn't fool enough to wait for the Imperials to arrive. Poor Sod took to the road, left his whole life behind. But they'll be after him before long. I need to find him and get him to safety, fast. Here. If you've the time and the inclination, I could do with a hand. Will you help me find him? Sure. Of course. We bearers have to look out for each other. Thank you, Clive. With your help, we might catch up with him yet. His name's Norris. Mm -hmm. I'm we sure he will. To find him and get him to Martha before the Imperials sniff him out. You found him yet? You won't catch a bastard standing around clucking like old ends. That fucking snake played me false, acted like he was one of us, and the old time he was one of them. We need him caught and handed over to the Imperials. Hanging's too good for him. It's not well, us versus then. them, you if idiot. If he gets away, I'll see you fitted for a noose. All right, Ronald. We were just leaving. Look, this one's here to help. I was just filling him in. Ha! Send a bearer to catch a bearer, is it? Not bloody likely. That's it. 
I'll find the bastard myself. Come on now, Ron. It's dangerous out there. We wouldn't want you to come to any harm. You want something done right? You don't send a bearer. Ron I've, here is the worst of people. You start hunting our man, and I'll be along once I put Ronald's mind at ease. Someone said they saw Norris heading for the Fallen Gate. Maybe you could ask if anyone over that way knows anything. We have to find him. Don't let him slip through our grasp. Sure, we'll prioritize that. Run there is the worst type of friend. Before Ronald takes matters into his own hands. The one that will there turn you in for the slightest offense. What did he mean about being played false, I wonder? What can I do for you, Mr. Fishmonger? Here, you're that bearer who works for Martha, aren't you? Can you give me a hand? Curse my luck. I dropped my crystal off a cliff into the bloody swamp like an utter fool. Now, I've not got your knack, see, and I need that shard to chill my fish if I'm to take him to market. I mean, I can't use ice either. Make it worth your while. I can't Why can't you anything. go down there? Well, just promise you'll look. Ah, there may be one thing I failed to mention about the crystal. A creature might have be why. claimed it. Claimed it. All right, eaten it, but, but, but only might have, you understand. There were a lot of bog crabs down there. Nasty buggers, them. Yeah, that explains why you're putting it on the main. I need to break a few shells. Oh, don't worry. There, there, there weren't too many of them. A veritable walk in the marsh, as they say. The ladders right over there. Bastard. Good-natured bastard in this case, because you know, he's he would die if he went down there. But he is playing it off as being, you know, not a problem. Now the question is, does this show me if there are, I guess I can't know unless I know this quest, but I'm guessing the fact that there's no marker on here means that there isn't any quests that I need to take, uh, get in this area. And there's another side quest up that way once I actually get out there. My stuff was for the golden stables again. But you know, I will get to that quest as I actually get over there. Which won't be until I'm done with these, the area here. Shouldn't take us too long. A couple of side quests and then we'll move on. He says, hopefully. One down. Let's. There we go. Much better. Well, you're almost dead already because my friend here has done a good job. You are the one that has the crystal we need. Yep. We are crystal. More time down here than I have to. Why not? This area seems lovely. I don't see anything wrong with it. Nope, that was just pet the doggo, which I should do, but not right now. Because as you know, we should always pet the doggo. Even if it has three heads and it's trying to kill us. Mr. Fishmonger, here you go. Well, any luck? Yours, I presume. You might want to wash it off first. You found it, oh, thank you.
Oh no. Any longer out in the sun and my catch would have made for poor eating indeed. Be more careful next time. Oh, I will, I promise. No point casting my nets of a morning if I'm without a crystal to see the catch to town. There was a time honest taxpaying folk could get new ones whenever they wanted. Can't now, though, not for love nor money. Crystals are scarce, and the Empire tightens its purse strings more every day. Lose this little beauty again, and I might as well scrap my nets and take to begging. That does not sound like a good place to be, mate. Yes, give me all the gill. That said, next time on Final Fantasy 16, we're going to head off to our fellow bearer and hopefully save him from the Imperials trying to track him down. See you then.